Good day, class. Are you now ready for new learnings? Did you know that computer has four functions to do its given task? And that is our lesson for today. The first function of a computer is the input. The instructions that you enter into the computer is called input. This information can be a form of numbers, letters, graphics, video, or audio file. Users input what they need to the computer. For example, you need to pass a computer-encoded homework to your teacher. You will type your assignment in Microsoft Word, then having it printed afterwards. The input command that the computer receives is when the user types his assignment in Microsoft Word with the use of keyboard. Another input command is when the user clicks the print button using the mouse to print his assignment. The second function of a computer is the process. This is the series of actions performed by the computer to read the inputted data. Once the user has entered an instruction, the computer will find a way to read it accurately to find a good output. And errors on output are made by the wrong input of the users. Of course, computers cannot understand the human language, which is why the user needs to input his instructions specifically. The third one is the output. This is the process data or the information that is delivered to the user. An output can be in a form of soft copy or a hard copy. When we say soft copy, it is the output that we can see on the computer screen and it is only available when the computer is on while hard copy is the output that can be held or touch it is printed on a piece of paper the hard copy is also called a printout example christian needs to submit a computerized research paper to his teacher he will type or encode his assignment in Microsoft Word, then, after typing, he saves the file and prints it out. In short, the soft copy is the file that the student sees on the computer screen, and the hard copy is the printed copy that said file. And the last function of a computer is the storage. Computer storage is where the computer stores the data received from the user. These data are filed properly at the storage and can be accessed anytime. Let's have a recap. Again, computer has four functions to do its given task. The input, process, output, and the storage. Before I end this video, let me share to you the Proverbs 9.10. It is said that, The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, and the knowledge of the holy is understanding. Thank you for listening, and I hope you learned from our discussion today. Bye!